Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, I'd like to show you how to group your sales line items when entering an order. Here you can see that I have four items on this order, and I have them grouped into three, uh, three hardware items and one, uh, one service type item. So the way we can do this is if we go to the settings module, I've, uh, I've narrowed down the settings to these, to just the applicable settings. So here you can see that I have uh, used sales line item groups enabled by setting this to true. And then in this other field, default sales document groups, I've, uh, I've pre-typed in three, di three separate groups that um, I wanted to use here. Then finally, I have this, uh, this field where I can actually specify the name of the column that will be used for, for that grouping field. If we go in and flip back to our order, you can see that I have my, my group column here. And uh, it, has, uh, it contains a drop-down from where I can choose the items group. So for example, I can take each one of my items and assign it a group manually here. Another way I can add the item into a specific group is if I click on a tab, you'll notice that the groups add these tabs towards the top. If I add an item right in this tab, it will appear under this group. So if I were to look for, let's, uh, let's look for some software item. Okay, here we go. So I've, I've taken the time to uh, look for this item. This is a, a Computers Explained ebook. So I'm just going to add this this item to my order and save the document. And you'll see that it's now part of the software group. If I go back and flip to my all group, you'll see that it also shows on here. But this is a, a great way to group items to, uh, to make them easier to manage on a sales order. Thanks for watching this video, and this is Rob.